In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, the Apostle Paul instructs his younger co-worker and disciple. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Please notice three groups here. Many witnesses, faithful men, and others. Timothy had heard things from the Apostle Paul in the presence of many witnesses. In other words, Timothy was part of a group that listened to the instructions of the Apostle Paul. So now he is being asked to commit the things that he heard to faithful men. M-E-N, plural. That is, a group of people who in turn will be able to instruct others, meaning another group of people. This is exactly how discipleship works, from group to group. Discipleship is not only what you learn, but also what you do with what you learn. If discipleship was only about what you learn, you could stay indefinitely in the same group and just keep learning. This often happens with the so-called small group ministries. Some leaders start a small group with the intent of spiritual growth, and the group continues year after year with more or less the same people. Nevertheless, if spiritual growth really happens, one would expect that after a while, some would decide to leave the comfort of their group. The empty seats here will be filled with new people, and those who left will start a new group. This is how new spiritual leaders are born, and this is how discipleship expands as a reproducible cycle, a reproducible process. We have a group that grows the leaders of another group, which grows the leaders of another group, and on and on and on. God bless.